In the early 90s, Dave Chappelle made a name for himself as a stand-up comic. You ready, man? Go ahead, do it. I just be ready. Getting bit parts in movies. Give me the wallet and the watch. <laughs> and becoming a talked-about talent. Have you thought about Dave Chappelle? It was just a matter of time before he got his own show. Mm -mm, bitch. <laughs> No, not that one. Chappelle's first show was a primetime sitcom produced by Disney. Maybe not the best match for his comedic sensibility. Click, click, click. Suck my dick. <laughs> to help launch the up-and-coming star, ABC gave Chappelle a guest spot on Home Improvement. In it, Dave and Jim Brewer appear in the audience of Tool Time. I hear you, Tool Man. You know what I'm talking about, huh? Exactly. Yeah, man, we're constantly in trouble with our girlfriend. Right. So Tim turns Tool Time into an episode of The Ricky Lake Show, letting his new buddies role play as their nagging girlfriends. Jim, you said you were going to be home last night, but I came by your house and you weren't there. Where were you? Where was I? <laughs> which lands Dave and Jim in some hot water. No, wait a minute. A girlfriend saw the show yesterday. You gotta help us out. We are in big trouble. Then Tim helps his new buddies and the audience loves it. <laughs> the network was so thrilled by Chappelle and Brewer that they quickly developed a sitcom for their characters. This home improvement episode became a retroactive backdoor pilot. That's TV's way of launching a new show under the guise of a seemingly normal episode of a hit series. It's like how Robin Williams' guest spot on Happy Days led to the network developing Mork and Mindy. One, two, three! No contest. Let's go, Spetsman. So with just one episode, Chappelle got a spin-off, even if it was as forced as the home improvement laugh track. And like a lot of pilots, buddies went through some retooling, which was bad news for Jim Brewer. Now what? The show's not going? He was no. 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 The show's gonna go. They're gonna replace you. The executives at ABC wanted to be in the Dave Chappelle business. They worried that Brewer would distract from their star. And that's a valid concern. Let me make, finish my point. No. So Brewer was out, and new co-star Chris Garten was in. The writers even changed the character's name from Jim to John. The good news was, after these casting changes, the show was going forward. Oh yeah, it's all good, baby. The bad news was, Chappelle and Garten didn't have the same chemistry. All right, slap me five, Captain Jive. <laughs> the retooled buddies debuted in the spring of 1996. It's a comedy that's more than just black and white. Know what I'm saying? I'm not playing. It's buddies on a fresh new lineup when two new shows hit the spot. Here's the very 90s premise. Dave and John are best friends who own a struggling video production company. Oh, Gene, I'm going to need a sound check real quick. They juggle their crazy gigs with their even crazier love lives. John is married, because fans will remember that in the Home Improvement episode, Jim, now John, had proposed to his girlfriend on Tool Time. John's got a loving wife and a white trash mother-in-law. We could use some more bourbon and a lottery ticket. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dave is in a relationship that could be called complicated. I'm a professional filmmaker. They refer to you as a professional deadbeat who can't commit to anything, least of all me. And rounding out the cast as Dave's father and landlord is Richard Roundtree. I'm not dating Phyllis anymore. You fool! <laughs> what happened? You run out of stupid things to do today? Who knew that Shaft would be the best part of this sitcom? Buddies was not a good fit for Chappelle because it was a generic uh, 90s sitcom. Hey! Oh, no! <laughs> I promise! Now get him off! You're not gonna get hurt, I promise. And because it was a primetime network show, Buddies tackled race in a way that's not as nuanced as Chappelle's show. I don't know why boys who have so much gold jewelry are so angry. <laughs> And although I didn't think it was possible, you actually looked pale. I didn't bring this fried chicken just because of you. Yeesh. So after just five episodes, Buddies was canceled. Hello? <laughs> 13 episodes of Buddies were made, which means eight episodes never aired. That means viewers in 1996 never got to see the episode with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's all right, everything's fine. Today, Chappelle has disowned his first TV series. The comedian told CBS News, it was a bad show. When we were doing it, I could tell this was not gonna work. 
And you know who else didn't like buddies? Jim Brewer. Yeah, it was, you know, dumb project. Like, he's the black guy and I'm a white guy. We're friends. Hey. <laughs> That's right. The guy who got fired from the show? Not a fan. But two years after Buddies was canceled, Brewer and Chappelle teamed up in the stoner comedy Half Baked. Abracadabra. <laughs> Buddies has become a forgotten footnote in TV history. And nothing sums it up better than this DVD tagline, the show Dave Chappelle doesn't want you to see. I just want to state publicly that I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Atomic Abe for more videos about backdoor pilots, including an episode of Married with Children where Bud Bundy dated Carrie Russell?